they had the first Playboy Jazz Festival. And Sonny was a participant, an artist in an afternoon show. Uh, Walter Perkins, who I came to New York with, was a drummer in Chicago. And Walter knew Sonny. And Sonny asked Walter, he wanted a bass player and said, Walter, get the guy that you like playing with or that you've played with. And so Walter said, OK. And he called me and asked me to play this thing with Sonny. And I was frightened to death. I'm saying, oh, man, shit, am I ready for this? You know, I'm now Sonny Rollins, I'm moving up. The, the stakes are a little higher here, you know, and I said, I don't know whether I'm ready. And it was just trio. It was drums, bass, and Sonny. And I'm saying, oh, man, you know. I mean, I've heard Sonny with Wilbur Ware, so I had a look in Victor Sproles when Sonny would come. And they were the more experienced bass players in Chicago at that time. We just followed. I mean, I never thought I would ever get to a Sonny Rollins at that time because these guys were taking care of so much business. But Sonny called and I did the concert. And it was really very successful. I mean, we kicked ass and took names. I mean, Sonny burned the, it was just incredible. So now I got a chance to understand what Sonny, the artist, was about because we ate it up and Sonny asked me if I would like to work you know he he wanted to start a group he didn't know when but if I was interested in playing with Sonny so of course I'm gonna say yes but I'm just thinking in my mind I had a caption well Sonny is just being kind because with all the great bass players around why would he be looking for me? I mean, I, I, I always look for the Wilbur Wares. I mean, these were the people who musically were there. And that was the beginning. And Sonny called me. Sonny would write to me through the years when he took a break. And he called me and asked me to be a part of his first group. And of course, I was honored, frightened, you know, very leery about it because I just didn't feel like I had the prowess to stand up with a Sonny Rollins. Not from what I saw on the stage when other people were there, I really never thought I was ready. And it has been a great opportunity. I've had a ball for, I don't know, 40 some years now. Longer than my marriages, Sonny and I have been together. So, <laughs> and a, and a, a collaboration, any collaboration that uh, uh, spans that many decades has to allow for changes in each of the individuals because we do not remain one thing in life, we change. So part of the, of the collaboration is you two understand each other, support each other. How has Sonny changed musically over the past 40 years? I, I think that I equate Sonny over the years, um, for me, I always equate things, I like sports, and so I equate myself as, I'm blocking for Sonny, who's a halfback, who is just skill, and he'll find a place to run through. I don't care how big a block, whether you go left or right, Sonny, just rem I, I enjoy blocking for Sonny, because he runs the ball so well. <laughs> you know, it's a touchdown. It's always a lot of yards gained when I play with Sonny because he, he's a superstar. Sonny is a superstar. That's about, you know. I could never explain it in any other way. He just keeps growing every time I hear him, every day. I'm fortunate to be able to be there and listen to Sonny, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and, and, and it's a blessing. It's kept me, it, it, my life, it, it's, it, I feel the youngness in my life. I don't feel wiped out as a musician. It's kept me young. 
It's kept me young in spirit because Sonny kicks ass. Sonny, the, I mean, it's just, <laughs> you know, you know that he's the man, you know. I, I'm under the man, but he's the man. I mean, that's, that's it. He's it. In terms of, of the man himself, as someone who's been a friend for, four, for more than four decades now, what can you share with us that you, you might not know about Sonny? Things that you might not know about Sonny would, he's very kind, he's brilliant. That, that's the first thing I said. Sonny is brilliant, he's brilliant. I mean, he's a surgeon on the sax, you know. He's, uh, he can cut you all different ways. He's a surgeon, <laughs> you know. He's, he's just, uh, he's great. He's just, uh, that, that's about all I can say. He's a surgeon. He's just skill. How he comes up with what he, you know, I sit there and again I listen to it. It's hard for me to analyze it because by the time you are able to check out one thing, he's led you to someplace else that you are thinking about and you've forgotten what you thought you wanted to remember through Sonny. Sonny is just, he's great, great guy, brilliant, a scholar, he loves the environment. I, I like people to talk about trying to save, he's aware of everything that's happening with him and around him. He's, he's brilliant. He's a brilliant man. What about traveling with Sonny? Any lessons learned? In that respect, being on the road with a guy like Sonny? Well, Sonny spends a lot of time by himself, so, you know, he's... When we're together, is a lot of fun. You know, I, watching him on the bus and watching our travel, I, I'm amazed it he'll spend a lot of time reading and so forth, you know, where we're probably in the back of the bus acting up. Sonny is reading, he's always focused into things. He whistles a lot, so I I'm hearing tunes, I'm hearing things that are on his mind. It's one of his little things that he'll do, you know. That, um, he'll whistle some tunes and I, I look back in my bank and see whether I, I kind of know the tunes. I understand where he, I just feel like I really know Musically, I know, kind of, I feel what he's going to do. It's just so natural, the things that he'll do, and yet you got to look twice before you cross the street because Sonny's things are, he can, he, 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 can, he can throw you, but it all makes sense. It's just, it's wonderful to block for Sonny, to run.